Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to share you a very short video regarding income protection and how it works and sino ba yung kailangan ng income protection. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell notification bell so that you will be notified once I uploaded a new video. So let's start now. Your life or in our life, we have three uncertain things. First is getting sick, second disability, and the third one is death. Diba yun yung pangyayari na kung saan, possible na mangyayari anytime but we don't know when. So that's why tinatawag siyang uncertain things. And yun din yung pangyayari sa buhay natin na kung saan, we need financial to support either critical illnesses, kung magkakasakit man, or disability even death. Diba? Yun lang yung pangyayari sa buhay natin na kailangan talagang maglabas ng pera from our own packet. But if you are going to plan ahead, na kung saan you have to allocate some of your income na kung saan, kung mangyayari man yun, hindi na kailangan kunin sa bolsa mo. So, possible. So, papano ba? How could I apply that in my life? Because, if you are somebody na iniisip mo, I am single breadwinner providing for something for your family, you are very dependent to yourself, so you need this. At the same time, kung wala kang maasahan na iba, kailangan mo din to because your income stops the moment this will happen in your life. So, ano ba yung kailangan natin para at least kung mangyari man to, hindi ko na kailangan pa ng manghiram. Kung magkakasakit man, hindi ko kailangan manghiram kung kahit kanino, kanino man. So, try to imagine or try to think if you're gonna get sick today, who will provide for your income, for your family, for yourself? And who gonna pay for your hospitalization? For your bill? Diba? So, that's why we have to plan ahead. That's what we call financial planning then. So, that would be the time that income protection should get in. Kasi hindi pwede, ngayon ka nagkakasakit, ngayon ka kukuha ng income protection. At hindi pwede, ngayon ka nagkakaroon disab ng disability or even death, ngayon din. Because, in life, we have four categories in living. The first one is luxury, comfortably, poor and charity. So, currently, this four types or categories of living is determined through your income. If your income supply is enough for your family to live comfortably, so yun yun. Because you are working. And ito yung tinatawag natin naman at work. Ibig sabihin, if you are working, you have income getting in. And if you have, and if you are able to generate income for you and your family. That's where money work. If you get sick, disabled, or even death, and if your family, example, is living comfortably, your family goes down to charity. Because if you are not planning ahead, if something happened to us, kung wari, ako yung breadwinner, ako yung nagpo-provide sa family, then something happened to me, I was, get, I was diagnosed with cancer. If I was diagnosed with cancer, so my income stopped because uh, I stopped earning. And sino yung mag-provide ng income dun sa family ko? Is my family still living comfortably the moment I was not able to provide something for them? So dun pumapasok si income protection. Because we will protect your income from getting sick, disabled, and even death. Meaning, income protection will replace the income that you should provide for your family even when when you are not able to provide for them. And dito na taga papasok si money at work. Ibig sabihin, di ba, pag nagkakasakit ka or ikaw ay nawala, dapat merong right amount na money na papasok dun sa family mo para they can still able to live their life comfortably. Or they were able to provide their life na lifestyle na kung saan you are the one who gonna provide for them. Kaya, yun yung tinatawag natin na income protection. We are protecting your income na hindi siya mawala if this uncertain things happen in your life. So, your question is probably, magkano ba yung dapat na income protection ko for me and for my family? So, income protection should be 20% of whatever you're earning. And this will provide the best life that you can give to your family or yourself kung you are not able to provide for them, di ba? So, at least you, you have to prepare ahead 
because if you fail in preparing ahead of these uncertain things that might happen, your life will gonna mess up. And then the family that you love the most will suffer. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.